Maria, thank you for making time with me. You're yeah, welcome. To talk a little bit. Um, um, I want to start while we are enjoying the um, yeah. background of Virginia's mm -hmm. spirit behind us at the beautiful haven. Um, I'm curious, how did you get into the work? How did you meet Virginia? How? What was the beginning? For her? I mean, for you, as you for started me? to get into the work and get interested. Well, my first uh, connection with Virginia is a book, called her book, Conjuring Family yes. Therapy, um, which is, uh, I think it was published in fifth, around in the 50s, mm -hmm. very early. There were not many family therapy books yet. I, w I was just graduating with my master's degree and I read this book and I didn't understand it, but I, I had this feeling I have to, I have to go for it. I have to really know more about this and I have to meet this woman. I didn't know where she is from, who she is, and my guides, I had guides somewhere, always guide me somewhere. About a year later, in a very small town near to Winnipeg, a group brought her in, and there was a five-day worship, and that mm. was my commitment to follow her. Mm. So first I met her through the book, and my curiosity was really me to her, and then the magic of her work in those five days was uh, starting my career in the mm. Satir model. Um, you've been studying with her about 20 years, yeah, is that, that right? that was in 69, mm. and until she died, 88, I was following her wherever I could, wherever I could afford it, and that in those days she had one month on workshops, and I was working in a hospital, I had, I had my job, but somehow I managed to, to go to these workshops, like you do. Yes. You were really determined to do oh, it, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. Um, I wonder... Um, is there anything you could share a little bit about her as a person? You have, you know, yeah. spent so many hours, so many times with her and became really good friends. What, yeah, what was she as a friends person? Yeah, and she became friends with my family yeah. later. And then, but first I became, first I was a student and, it, uh, and uh, then I, I was part of her training component. Mm. And um, I spent a lot of time with her. I, I had the idea one day to invite her for three months to my province in yes. Manitoba, and that really connected me a lot with her mm. and her, with my family. And we spent lots of time uh, privately together after meetings. Uh, we spent a day somewhere in mm. Hawaii or wherever. That's when I really learned about coherence, when I was with her as a person. Yeah. She if was a coherent person, she was a lot of fun, she yeah. was sometimes a, like a little girl right. who would like to go shopping and yeah. loved flowers. I had to go to all the flower shops everywhere, yeah. I was bored, but she just loved nature. Yeah. Yes. You're reading my mind, I just wanted to ask you about the adjectives, if you gave her adjectives, which one would that be? But for yeah. Virginia? Yeah. Oh, we once did a pass party for Virginia, oh, yeah. and uh, she was uh, from... Eleanor Roosevelt to the old lady in the show, everything. Yes. Everything. Yes. Uh, big range. Yes, big range. Yeah. She was, she understood people on every level and yeah. she was basically, very basic, you know. Yeah. When she had time, she would uh, make pie and give us one piece of cake that we did well in our training. Yes. She was like a big mama sometimes and mm. other times like a sister. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So playing a lot of different roles. And also a teacher and yes. a mentor. Very, very serious teacher. We mm. were in the doghouse from time to time. Yes. Yes. Doghouse means that, you know, we didn't get the cookie. Right. Yes. Yeah. Then we knew that we are not doing that. She was very, very competent and expected competent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and uh, I was very insecure for many years uh, to work in her presence. Mm, really? And then she pushed me in Germany, actually. <laughs> yes. She but pushed you to Germany? No, she pushed me in Germany. Oh, in Germany. I went to worship in near to Frankfurt, up in the mountains. Yes. Uh, and and I was thinking I would be just assisting a little intern running around. And, yeah. this, and there were 65 people, and mm. that was in 79. And the third day she said, Maria, you do 
Tam je zašli in izkupe, naj bi rekel drugi tjedan, naj so taj daj, right on the spot. Oh my god. That was so afraid. Yeah. But I knew German, so that made my life easier. Yeah, that was your first language, right? Mm-hmm. And that's the first time I met uh, people in Germany after the war, and it was a wonderful, wonderful experience for me. Yeah. Sounds like a big experience. Life saving experience for yes. me. Because I, I met some wonderful people. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm glad to hear that as being German myself. Yeah. I'm really happy yeah. ab- about that. So it was a really a very important experience for me. Yeah, great. Mm-hmm. And, and also an experience for the first time I did family construction. And the participants wanted me. <laughs> oh, that's right. In, while Virginia was also there, you know. Yeah. So for me, for my low self esteem, that was really. Beautiful. I'm not surprised they wanted yeah. you. I'm not very <laughs> surprised about that. Um, I'm, I'm wondering, uh, is there any, like, if you chunk down what the legacy of Virginia was about, is there like a, I don't know, like a one sentence that you Her could Her legacy say? is really, <coughs> um, at the end of her life, as, as you know, she worked for peace. She really believed in peace that, that if people can connect with each other on yeah. a level of congruence, uh, all over the world, we would be connected, and and peace could be achieved. And yes. that was, she went from working with individuals in the old psychotherapeutic model yeah. that she was learning to family therapy, right. and then to to the whole process about the world because she believed her belief system is what me, connected me really that right. people are equal and people yes. need to connect, yeah. and that we are universally not so different. Right. That we have our universals between us. Right. Mm-hmm. I actually love the quote that she wanted to be a, a detective on yes. families. Yeah. Because I always said that I, I'm the Sherlock Holmes of, our, of my family. So that really yeah. resonated with me. And she decided that when she was five years old. And that's pretty amazing. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's and she did that. Yeah. Um, what are the most important uh, models for you in the Satya model? Mm-hmm. Well, everyone is very important, and they are all intervened, and yes. intertwined. You know, maybe the basic is the communication model. Yes. Goes through everything. Yes. And my love affair is with family reconstruction. Yes, I know that. That's yeah. where I wrote the book about family construction, yeah. and you will translate it. Yes, that's, that's true. That's what you said you will. Yes. Yes. And um, that brings me right to the family reconstruction. You're the master. You're the expert, and and that. Um, do you um, can you maybe give like an overview of what the like really general structure of the such, uh, of the reconstruction model is? Well, the, the objective is to uh, to really understand the personhood of our parents. Yes, and that then leads to understand myself. That's Which was eye opening for me. Yeah, that was a big treasure for me. As and I so say. I can really look at my father and mother as people that yes. I can accept myself as yes. a person. Yeah. And that, um, metaphorically, this is the third person, which is, that's Virginia's idea. I that term. And she was in the process of writing a book about it. And the third person is when we become really grown up, yes. responsible choice yes. makers for ourselves mm-hmm. and possibly congruent. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that is the goal in right. in the process of family construction, and of course, because our first faculty of learning is the family, right? We have to look at our family with new old older present eyes, with fresh eyes, fresh with eyes, new not eyes, as updated, yes, maybe. updated. Yes. Yeah. And one of the elements is about, and we will do that practically today, yeah. letting go of the expectations, which I thought was a really core piece of letting go core of... Core piece is letting go expect unmet expectations. Unmet expectations. Because no parent can ever <laughs> live up to the expectations children have. That was yeah. eye-opening for me too. Mm-hmm. That there are unmet expectations yes. on both sides and it's yes. impossible to really meet both them. Sides, yes. Course. And um, what's another element that we find in the, um, in the reconstruction? Well, world? a very important one is that we don't see our parents as people. Yes. We, we, see, we learn to we see them as objects. Yes. And we have to learn to see them as people, as human beings who can make mistakes and they are not perfect. Yes. I have to admit I had those eyes on my parents myself. Mm-hmm. Definitely. And I, I have 
had that experience with my parents, then I'm a parent myself, and I know how how imperfect I was. Yes, mm -hmm. and yeah. I'm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the resources, right? Yes. To to connect to our resources. Yeah, we, go, we work a lot with resources because people. One of the basic beliefs is that people have the resources, but we have to. They don't use it. <laughs> they yeah. put themselves down, and we can help them. Uh, ourselves and other people to access that is also right. Yeah, right. Something I really loved and was striking for me in my own experience, as you said, well, given all of what happened there, you made it, and and you yeah. know, look at all the resources that you gathered from that um, experience, and that was striking. That really, mm -hmm. I remember how that really changed my perspective. And if you had difficulty in growing up like some children have, yes. they have to develop more resources. Yes, yeah. yes, that was really striking to me yeah. to be aware, wow, yeah, I made it, that's mm -hmm. true, because sometimes we can be so absorbed yeah. in a younger self and not realizing that we have all these amazing yeah, resources. Yeah, I have no idea how many resources I have, only when life became difficult, I learned, hey, I have to survive. Yeah. We all learn mm -hmm. to survive in different ways. Can you tell a little bit about your background, about how how you were brought up and into? Oh, I was brought up very similarly like you. Because, yeah. Because I was born uh, in 1920, right after uh, the world, the third world war. Mm. So Hungary became uh, sort of um, amputated. My first learning in school was yes. that. Yes. Hungary is amputated and we have to fight to get back those pieces, right. you know, right. uh, the piece in Trianon took away, mm -hmm. uh, one piece became Slovakia, one piece Romania, one piece Yugoslavia. Yeah. So from childhood on, you know, we, we felt low self-esteem in Hungary yeah. because we were part of the monarchy, uh, mm -hmm. of the Habsburg monarchy and mm -hmm. we lost that. But that was good for me is that the major language in from middle class people was German. Yes. So my first language is German. Yeah. And I never forgot it. Yeah. So I learned uh, Hungarian when I was six. Du sprichst ein bisschen food. Deutsch. Yeah. Wir haben uns ein bisschen in Deutsch unterhalten. Ein bisschen, yeah. Yeah, that was lovely. It was a big surprise yeah. to me that we could speak a little bit. And it's very interesting because I never speak English here, uh, German here. Yeah. But when I went back to Cologne to yes. visit you, it came back to me. I knew every word you had, but I couldn't teach it to her yeah. anymore. Yeah, alone in Hungarian. Yeah, right. Yeah, but it was amazing to yeah. to connect on that language level. That yes. was yeah. really nice, and I loved hearing you mm -hmm. in, in German and yeah. in Germany, in my hometown. That I was a special. I might have a thing. Hungarian accent in German. Um, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I didn't yeah. hear that that much. Mm -hmm. um, so that's your Hungarian. So can I tell me in ger German? Uh, no, <laughs> I, I would know. <laughs> that's right. That's true. Yeah, that's very true. Mm -hmm. And um, then, how did you get to Canada? Oh, oh that's a very long story. But uh, Just so I went person. to uh, school in Hungary, and at age seventeen, I decided that I want to go to Paris. Mm -hmm. uh, so I almost I was after my my high school graduation. I went to Paris mm -hmm. and. Uh, and there was an institute, uh, the Curie, Madame Curie Institute. Yeah. I had absolutely no idea what I wanted to do with my life, but it didn't matter because the Curie Institute guaranteed after four years, if you graduate, to get you to uh, to California. California. <laughs> so I went that's, to, a good that's a good time. In order to get admitted in the Curie Institute, I had to be at the Sorbonne learning chemistry for a year, which right. really, really didn't interest me, but I loved being a student there. Yeah. That's my... Those, right. my, those are my best memories, being yeah. in Paris. Beautiful city. And then I never wanted to go back to Hungary, but my father, uh, my father sort of controlled me to go back to mm -hmm. Hungary. He was mm -hmm. worried when the war, after the war broke up. Yeah. Two years, almost two years into the war, before France was occupied, I went yeah. back for 13 days. I had a visa to return. And then I couldn't return because mm -hmm. my father didn't want me to go back. And uh, so I ended up being in Hungary. I always wanted to go back to the West world, Western world. Mm -hmm. uh, but I got married in Hungary. I had my son in Hungary. Yeah. And then, uh, uh, then after the war, uh, we couldn't really leave. Uh, 
under the Soviet occupation. Mm -hmm. Right. Only after our revolution. And that yes. was really the first time that I could get back to the Western right. world. Right. So that so then we in a not not in a not in a regular way but in the most irregular way we mm -hmm. left Hungary and ended up in Canada. We didn't know where we ended up and we left. Mm -hmm. And we couldn't even go together, so it was right. totally, you know, one of those things. Everybody knows those stories. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So then we end up in Canada and start a new life, and I'm very happy to be here. Yeah, me yeah. too. I'm happy yeah. that. I miss Europe. Yes, you very do. Much. I heard. Yeah, you said that as you yeah. came. Whenever to I'm in, in in Europe and especially in Paris, I just love yeah. it, and I mi I very much miss it. Yeah. That's, uh, That's a different flavor, right? To the the life and 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 it is Europe. it is very different from Canada. Yeah, yeah in, I feel in that culture, way. in terms of culture and yes. uh, and uh, everything is different. Mm -hmm. But um, I I think I'm very very lucky living in Canada and having my my yeah. my next generation two many two next generation. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's yeah. true. Well, talking about the past brings me right into the present and towards the future. Um, I'm sitting here also with you because I um, just found at the um, institute in Germany, so Tier Institute. Yeah, I'm very happy. And I so hope you would do that. And you're my founding member, and I'm very honored with that. So I wonder. Um, so you will be really in charge of uh, the third generation continuing the Satir model in Germany. Um, I'm really determined and really um, feeling uh, that's. Was, I'm really passionate about it since I. When I was in Cologne, I felt that that uh, that uh, that people are interested in yes. the model, especially because they know NLP. They are very much yeah. into NLP. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, since I heard about her the first time and coming from a family uh, business background and working so much with family systems, she spoke so much for to me that I've been passionate. I've actually yeah. identified with her three times in a mm -hmm. workshop with Stephen Gilligan yeah. and got a lot of um, inside messages which were important to me and then meeting you was the additional bringing her spirit also into play. Um, I wonder what, what's your desire, How, what are you hoping that the institute well, is doing it. I, I do, we, we're doing it, that's true. But, but, but the institutes all over do, we have many in Asia now, yes. that, uh, to to train people. Yes. Uh, to first share the Satir model and yes. it fits them to have a training component. Really good. In Hong Kong we have that. Yes. And it's beginning now in China and right. we have a very good training component in Taiwan. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. And we already started doing it. Um, I was asked to do different things mm -hmm. in different countries which was very, the, the interest is there and I was very excited about that. Um, so once you have trained a few people, you can you can broaden the system. Absolutely. Absolutely but yeah. you see, but it's very important that people think that they, if they come for a one week workshop, they know the model and start teaching it. Right. So how do you control and how do you certify people is right. is a whole process. Absolutely. To to certain extent, we cannot control that. Right. And Virginia never controlled, NLP had a way to control it. Yes. But, uh, but you're hoping for good standards. People will, will learn. Yes. You know. Yes. So we I cannot control it. We, I we, made the experience. We don't control it in China. Right. Yeah. I actually made the experience in, uh, in different places as I brought the Satya model to the attention of some people, experiential, not just talking about it, but really experiential. I got a lot of feedback where people said, I heard about her and I knew she was important, but now I'm having a bigger, more of a sense what her work was about and now I'm really interested mm -hmm. in. So it starts to be called no, again. The books, New People Making is in German. Uh, yes, it is in German, Satir absolutely. Model the Satir model is in German. And I that's think some of the smaller books are. Yeah, Making Contact yeah. and My Many Faces are also in German. So They're really important. lovely books. And you could translate my books. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Yes. If yeah. that copyright wise, if that works out, then I for me it works. Absolutely out. determined to translate your book because mm -hmm. um, I think it's a really important, great source. And you also updated this a massive long process that's been going mm -hmm. on for days yeah. into a very succinct, clear, goal oriented yeah. way, which I love and it actually 
and that's that to life explanation other is in in the alchemy. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. What is actually what was your original title again? Is that for public to share or maybe not? Turning shit into gold. Turning shit into gold. <laughs> that's not my saying. That's Virginia. That's what Virginia said, right? Turning mm -hmm. shit into gold. Yeah. And I wanted that for the title. Um, I love the title actually. Um, maybe that that can be <laughs> the one for the German one. Who knows? Um, you could. But, yeah. How do you say that in German? Dass wir Scheiße, dass wir Scheiße zu Gold verwandeln. That sounds very good. Scheiße zu Gold verwandeln. I think it sounds, sounds lovely. Very good. Right? You do that. So maybe we do that. Yeah. Scheiße into Gold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can start translating because in in a very short time I will have all the rights back for for the translation of the Great, book. wonderful. I love that. Yeah. Um, um, I want to say thank you for your time. You're very welcome, and I wish you. Thank you for life. you. For I support being you, you to wholeheartedly. Uh, I know. Yeah. I feel that very much. And, and you see, I think it will be much more organized to to get the training component mm -hmm. certified in Germany because because in Europe they are used to that. Yes. They, they are used to that. In, yes. In Asia, it is yeah. very difficult because they are not used to these kind of components. Right. And even in Canada, like in, in, in Canada, it's in between. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's do it. Good.